has no rules, no boundaries. He doesn't flinch at torture, human trafficking, or genocide. He's not loyal to a flag or a country or any set of ideals. After making the AMX30 video, some of you wanted me to play the AMX30 DCA. Originally, I was going to edit the AMX30 to have a really big 20 mil, but I got lazy and just used the DCA instead. That's why it has this insane face on it. And I'm just going to keep that for the video. But before we get into it, I want to talk about my sponsor. I'm partnered with Apex Gaming. They make pre-built PCs. If you're looking to upgrade, you should check them out. Link is in the description and comments. You can use my username as a discount code on checkout. Now back to the video. It plays a lot like the Falcon, but obviously not stabilized. And it has a radar. Now I'm going to try to make it into the river here. I'm probably going to get nailed before I can do that. Okay, we made it. Oh, it also has a laser rangefinder, which is really nice to have. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a ton of targets on this side. The radar is seemingly not very good. Honestly, how did that dude miss? Okay, he didn't miss. That's quite sad. I'm gonna be real. Most of our dudes are in planes, it looks like. Two helicopters. You know, can you please lock on to the one that's right there? Oh well. Are you kidding me? I... I don't even know what to say to that. That's... <laughs> Oh, I just realized that when that friendly plane got the view of what killed him, he saw this little gremlin creature. I really hope that person understands that that was not intentional at all. I'm telling you, man, these 30 mils are seriously underrated. The semi armor piercing round it gets is stupidly powerful. Well, we can kill him. Yep. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's another medium. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Six kills in the span of how many minutes? Reload. Please. Reload. <laughs> clipped him. Well, a bit more than clipped, I think. We're pretty close to having a nuke. Let's see if we can go kill whatever is on B, and if that's enough for a nuke. No one on our team is moving. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Did I disconnect? Now we just have to hope that we can get to the battle in time, and that they actually still have players. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. That's unfortunate. They probably didn't have any tanks on the ground, that's why. Man, that's so disappointing. Like, I totally get why they have that rule. It'd be really boring to play a ground match and just have it be drawn out by people in planes, but I feel like if there's a nuke in the air, that could probably be mitigated, you know? What is that? Is it false advertising if I put a nuke in the thumbnail, but it didn't actually drop it? I mean, I still got it, right? I swear, even at 1440p, this game is way too grainy. Why would you bring an SAV to 8.3? Oh, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, I think the Starship's cupola is a bit too strong to pen. 
I think the DCA is one of those vehicles that performs best outside of its intended role. Like, it's supposed to be an anti-air vehicle, but it's honestly a much better tank destroyer. Oh, that was quite foolish on your part. Oh. Yeah, I think that's enough of playing the DCA. Can I, uh... Okay, thank you. Oh? Can I return a hangar, please? Thank you. Oh, that's, uh... Alright. So the DCA is incredibly strong, as you can see. The DCA is probably better than the actual AMX-30 MBT. You've got damage and penetration because you've got Sabo and the semi-armor piercing. So you put it in the right spot and it just shreds everything. As always, if you guys have suggestions for vehicles you want me to play, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.